Good day, everyone. My name is Mr. Marco Paolo J. Burgos, MSIT, currently teaching at the City College of Calamba, Calamba City, Laguna, Philippines. Today, I will present to you my research entitled Learning Management System for Data Structures and Algorithms. On the next slide, I will show you my introduction, the statement of the problem, and the reasons why I conducted or developed this research. The COVID-19 pandemic today has affected all aspects of our lives. The education system of our country also had to adjust. Almost every institution shifted to online class and modular learning. The subject data structures and algorithms is offered in the second year of Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology at the School X. The LMS will have supplemented the teaching methods for data structures and algorithms subjects. For the statement of the problem, of course, this study aims to develop an LMS for data structures and algorithms to provide a better service for the benefactor of the school administration, teachers, and students. Specifically, it seeks to answer the following questions. For the number one, what are the stages in the development of learning management system for data structures and algorithms using waterfall method? For the number two, what is the level of acceptability of learning management system for data structures and algorithms based on ISO 25010 in terms of functional suitability, performance efficiency, usability, and reliability? For the number three, what is the difference between the evaluation of the learning management system between the students, teachers, IT experts using ANOVA in terms of functional suitability, performance efficiency, usability, and reliability. Number four, what are the challenges encountered in the use of learning management system for data structures and algorithms based on the perceptions of the respondents, which are the students, teachers, faculty members, and the IT experts? And the last one, what implementation plan can be developed on the use of learning management system for data structures and algorithms? My research method. The researcher utilized the developmental research with the use of descriptive design for this study as a manual for building up a framework following the idea of the waterfall method. The researcher used the waterfall method as a process in creating the system. The waterfall formulation are usually utilized in computer program improvement which react to error resoluteness changes. For the population frame and sampling scheme, the population frame for this particular research, as I said before, the IT experts, the faculty members, the students, the former students, which is currently enrolled, uh, currently, sorry, former, the, uh, former students for the subject data structures and algorithm at the school X under the instruction of this researcher. The researcher used convenient sampling due to the availability of the respondents. The research instruments are the following the adapted questionnaire, the interview guide, and the document analysis. The statistical treatment, at per, uh, first one is the weighted mean, which utilizes the com compute the average measure of peculiar set of numbers with the various levels of weight with the, form with the formula equation, which is the summation multiplied by the frequency distribution divided by the total respondents. And for the analysis of variance, the researcher used analysis variance because of the respondents, the number of the respondents, which is the three or more means. And the formula to get the ANOVA coefficients is mean of squares between the groups divided by mean squares within the groups. My summary of findings with the conclusions. First, uh, it will answer to the first uh, statement of the problem the stages undertaken to develop learning management system for data structures and algorithms using waterfall method. The waterfall method was used in the development of LMS for data structures and algorithms. This method encompasses several methods, which are requirement analysis, system design, implementation testing, deployment, and maintenance phases. The number two, uh, it answered the statement of the problem number two, the level of acceptability for the faculty members, IT experts, and respondents respect to the ISO 25010. 
The overall weighted mean result of learning management system for data structures and algorithms are 4.49 for the students, while 4.43 for the faculty members and 4.38 for the IT experts, which means that it is acceptable to all groups of the users. For the number three, the difference between the evaluation of the respondents of the LMS for data structures and algorithms with regards to the aforementioned variables. Of course, there is no significant difference among the three groups of respondents in the evaluation of LMS for data structures and algorithms in terms of functional suitability, performance efficiency, usability, and reliability. Therefore, my hypothesis is not rejected. Sorry. For the number five, the challenges encountered by the respondents using the LMS for data structures and algorithms are the following, which are, which, which are commented by the respondents. The first one, the administrator said encountered the difficulty in creating an account. It should have an option where the admin can import Excel file and add the student data in the system. Uh, the second one is the chatbot has no pre-made fixed questions that the user can just click or select for every change or conversion. Conversation, sorry. Number five, the an implementation for learning management this, uh, system for data structures and algorithms. The implementation plan best those comprehensive procedures that elucidate the distinct functionalities of the system. A Gantt chart was created to have an idea of the timeline for the implementation. The methods in the user manual have been evaluated and tested to facilitate the understanding of detailed usage of learning management system for data structures and algorithms. For the recommendations, which based on the summary of findings and conclusions are the following. For the first one, which is anchored to the first statement of the problem. The researcher encouraged the school to adapt the learning management system for data structures and algorithms to improve the overall academic flow. The second one, the school may widen the scope of learning management system to include the subject of the course, especially programming subjects, to be included for the university-wide cohesive system. And for the number three recommendation, future researchers may include other performance assessments on the design of the system. The number four, uh, to develop a strategies to address the challenges encountered by the respondents should improve its academic process to better use the system. And the last one, the school may develop and implement a mobile version of learning management system for data structures and algorithms for mobile devices and make it compatible with the smartphones and tablets. And, and these are the references, and that's all. Thank you.